And so my question is, what do you say to the guys at the coffee shop then after your 54% pay cut? And I'll tell you the answer. You don't say anything to the guys at the coffee shop because you're not at the coffee shop because you got such a pay cut that you got to sit at home and, and drink Folgers now. I'm Antonio Sabella. Welcome to the latest video. We're talking bond investing specifically as interest rates have gone up, bond yields have gotten attractive. And so a lot of folks are saying, hey, I could draw this four or 5% and use it as my retirement income when I get there to supplement my social security or pension, things like that. If you know me, you know I like to talk about guaranteed sources of retirement income. I'm gonna to explain to you today why bond interest does not meet that definition, therefore, not a great vehicle to fund the retirement income on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and so here we go, a financial history lesson. You don't have to go too far back in history, but let's go back to right before the financial crisis, right before 2008, 2009, and everything that happened there. Pretend with me that you were 65 years old in 2006, and you had put away money, and you were getting ready to retire, and you said, hey, bond interest rates are pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna use this interest to live on in retirement. And a 10-year treasury back in 2006 was averaging 4.8% per year. And you say, hey, I can do the math. If I've got a million dollars, that's $48,000 a year of interest. Now, this is not diversified. You should never do that in the first place. But for our math purposes, million dollars, 4.8% per year, it's $48,000 a year of retirement income, $4,000 a month. I'm good to go. That's my plan. I got bonds. I'm loving life. Uh, and then what happened? The financial crisis happened and the Federal Reserve started cutting interest rates to help stimulate the economy and, and try to stave off uh, another depression. And so while they did what they needed to do, what happened to you and your bond portfolio was that your interest rates dropped substantially as they cut interest. And so while that was happening, you're still getting some higher interest from the bonds you have. Uh, remember, you're 65 and you're like 66, 67 now. What do you do? You go to the coffee shop every day with your friends. You're talking to them and they're they're melting down. They're like, what's going on with the portfolio? I'm losing all of this money in my stocks. And you're sitting there sipping your latte and you're like, I'm not worried about it. I'm not losing anything. I was smart. I invested in bonds. And you're getting your 4.8% and bonds were actually up in those years as far as prices. So you didn't see the drop like you did in stock market money. And so you feel really good about your investment strategy. Meanwhile, Federal Reserve's chipping away. They're lowering interest rates, dropping them to help the economy. And what happens, all of a sudden, you start to get a pay cut. You start to get a serious pay cut. Uh, by the end of 2008, so you retired in 06, by the end of 2008, same treasuries went from 4.8 to 2.2%. That's a 54% pay cut. Think about that. Think about whatever you make for a living right now. What if you showed up to work tomorrow and your boss was like, hey, times are tight, tightening the belt. You got a 54% pay cut, hope you can make it. Probably can't make it. People can't live off of 54% of the income that they were used to living off of, but that's what happened to you at that point. And so my question is, what do you say to the guys at the coffee shop then after your 54% pay cut? And I'll tell you the answer. You don't say anything to the guys at the coffee shop because you're not at the coffee shop because you got such a pay cut that you got to sit at home and, and drink Folgers now. And there you are, sitting in your kitchen, muttering into your, your Folgers about how stupid bonds are. And here's the thing, bonds aren't stupid. They're just not a great income vehicle in retirement. And I hope you understand why now, because you're tying the amount of income that you will have to the whims of the economy and the Federal Reserve. That varies, that can fluctuate. You don't want a pay cut, particularly at a time when things aren't going well, which is normally when interest rates are dropping. The Fed reduces interest rates to help the economy in times when things aren't going well, and that's the worst time to get a pay cut. So find other sources of retirement income, uh, guarantees through things like annuities, even dividends from stocks. Uh, if they're good companies with a long track record, have more stability historically than the interest rates in bonds. You should have bonds in your portfolio. They should be a diversifying asset. They are not a means to a, a significant retirement income unless you want to ride that roller coaster. Uh, I hope you learned something today. Thank you for being here with me, and I'll see you soon.